Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Johnny. Uh, I just wanted to start off with my uh, my dreadlock journey. I did uh, start from Mohawk. I've had it for about three years. It actually used to come down to about about here if I pulled it down. But um, I've had these since December fifteenth, twenty fourteen. It is now February third. So I've had them for for a good little bit, you know. Um, I want to say almost two two months. Well, this is them so far. Now here's the front, the side, the back, and the right side. All right, so basically, um, we've been wanting to start this for a while. We finally did go through with it. Some things about myself: uh, I am a college student. Uh, one thing is, I do play football. So uh, one thing that sucks uh, with that is um, my retwist. I have twisted myself because my loctician is back in Jacksonville. So uh, when I do uh, twist my hair myself, we have workouts every day. So it kind of just sweats it out. So I'm kind of just waiting till spring break to really do something. Um, unfortunately, with that happening, that does have some of my roots kind of kind of squat out to where I do have to twist them back up, especially like that little baby back one. But uh, some products I use Jamaican mango and lime. Uh, right here is just olive oil and water. Gotta have tea tree oil, tropical roots dry shampoo. I actually just picked this up last week to try it out. Um, it, it's okay. Uh, it really just helps kind of cleanse my head. The smell, I'm not too personally fond of though. I do use the sea salt water um, about every three, four days before we have a long outside practice. I'll actually spray this in my head to, uh, to like about a good 20 minutes before and try to dry out my scalp and dry out some of those dreads. So uh, when the sweat gets to it, it doesn't kind of kind of open up as much. You know, uh, I don't know if it actually does help, but so far I'm just going with it. I use coconut oil, olive oil. This uh, is actually a mixture of almost everything I use just to see if it works. Uh, it kind of does for a little bit. really don't use it too much. I won't use it twice. A diversity plus uh, it's, it's a natural tangerine oil my loctician actually makes it and uh, this stuff is awesome man I wish I could actually buy this in like a, a, a beauty supply or, or a Sally's but uh, it smells awesome and it helps your hair so much last two the Jamaican mango and lime no more itch spray and last uh, I did want to try out this uh this do grow simulating grow spray kind of just you know pop the top off kind of get where it's real itchy and real dry and kind of just let it sit there um haven't heard too too much about it you know i've kind of read that it is good for dreads but uh I'm not too knowledgeable on it see so, yeah, i mean that's that's all the product i use i am pretty new when it comes to dreads um uh, no one in my family actually has them so it's kind of just doing my thing you said it happened since December 15th. Uh, I do watch a lot of guys' videos. I've been watching it for a while. I've been wanting to make a video, but finally woke up this morning and decided let me just go ahead and do it. Um, I do have some questions, you know, like with people with, with new locks. When you guys wear hats, do you, uh, you guys cover your hair? Like, for example, I'll get one of my wave caps like this one, not even a do-rag, and uh, I'll actually put that on and then grab one of my hats and then put those on under it. Uh, I think for me that helps with creating like uh, with with keeping it from frizzing too much or the hat fraying the, the hair too much. Um, some things I do every day I'll usually go ahead and spray it with a little olive oil and water when I wake up just to kind of get it stuck off my head because you know the do rag keeps it all, all pushed back. Um, and really when it's real itchy I kind of just teach your oil kind of through my head just rubbing into the grooves. Uh, I've only washed it once. That was Monday, I think, uh, shoot, 
December the 17th. It was a little bit ago. Wait, why is this? Excuse me. December 17th. Maybe. Uh, January. It was January before I got uh, back to school after uh, winter break. So, um, I'll probably retwist my hair myself. Uh, my birthday's February 10th, so I'll do it about uh, that Friday. Maybe Valentine's Day, I'll go ahead and twist it back up. And then I'll actually get a loctician uh, to twist it back home. Uh, and see how it looks then, you know. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my little dreads. My name's Johnny. This is where they are so far. I do have a little bit of shake. Not too much, but that's because my hair was already so long before. Like I said, I did start from a mohawk, so uh, I have actually been looking for a lot of people who did start from a mohawk. So I could kind of see how theirs are looking. Like I did find one guy, uh, some guy who has this dread mohawk. He just showed his video yesterday. He's actually really, really clean because he's actually stick up like the mohawk did. So I kind of wish mine did. Maybe if I let him go for a little bit without getting a retwist, they'll do it. You know. So if you do have any tips, you guys can go ahead and put it right there in the comments. If you guys like the video, you guys want to you know start the journey with me. You guys want to keep on going. You know this is this is something else, man. You know, so uh, like, favorite, whatever, subscribe. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at uh, Johnny Tooswole. That's J O N N Y T O O S W L L E. You guys want to go over contact me like that or something, or to see what I'm doing. I always follow back as long as your profile ain't boring looking. Yeah, man. There you guys go. It's my dreadlock journey. I'll go ahead and uh, upload one beginning of March. I'll be doing this every month. And uh, hopefully soon enough, I'll be at one year. Let's go on from there, guys.